In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Atom Stack laser cutter with the um, Lightburn app. You can see I've got the laser cutter on my computer set up on the desk here. Hopefully when you come to use the um, laser cutter, it'll be somewhere a little bit more suitable. But for the purpose of this video, this will do just fine. Um, I have connected the USB cable that runs from the laser cutter uh, to a USB adapter. And then I've just connected that USB adapter to the USB cable on my Mac. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure that I have two things. I've got some uh, material that I'm going to use to engrave this piece of wood and my safety goggles. Oh, and not to forget this silver thing here is a, a, a large sheet of metal. It's a cutting mat. And this prevents the laser from cutting through the material and damaging the desk beneath. If you don't see the cutting mat or you don't see any safety goggles, do not use the laser cutter. Go and speak to your teacher. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move my material, which I have here. It's a piece of wood. It's about 25 by 15 centimeters. So I'm going to place that under the laser and it's going to go into the, uh, the corner there. Um, so the laser unit is over the material um, and now I can um, use this small black piece here. I'm going to slide that out. It's got two dots on it there, and you can see that's how it fits on there. These are little magnets. Um, and I'm going to rest the laser on this flat leveling bed. That's what this is. Um, so I'm going to place that under the laser, just like that, right? And I'm going to turn this knob anti clockwise, and I'm going to slowly drop the laser down onto that leveling bed. And then I'm going to tighten that knob by turning it clockwise so the laser doesn't move up and down when I move it. Now I can just slide that back out from underneath the, uh, the laser enclosure and I can just place it back onto the corner of the laser cutter where some light magnets will hold it in place. Now obviously I just disturbed the material so I'm just going to slide that back under the laser. There we go. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to grab the safety goggles I'm going to put those on and I'm going to turn on the air assist here. You can see that there's a small notch on the dial and there are three little settings. We've got um, off to maximum. Never turn it above that first little um, marker because that reduces the life of the air pump. So we're just gonna turn that to about 50%. That's enough, okay? This is going to help prevent the material burning under the laser or acrylic melting if you're using that material. Um, it's also going to just make the quality of the engraving better. You don't have to use it, but I strongly recommend it. And then we're going to turn on the laser cutter by pressing the power button here. You can see it glows red, it beeps, that means it's ready to go. Um, I've placed my material under the laser. I've got my safety goggles on. So now I can go to my MacBook, make sure that's on. I'm going to go to the Lightburn software. And I'm going to then go to File, Open, and I'll open my um, SVG file. So I need to make sure that I'm using all supported. There's my lasercutface.svg. Click Open, click on the Selection tool, drag a box around the uh, design and I can move that around the canvas. So obviously I can't place it beyond um, 26 centimeters by 15, so it needs to go um, here. So that's a maximum of, is that 80 millimeters? And another 80 there, so it should fit nicely on that piece of material that I used, which is eight centimeters by eight centimeters. So it's definitely gonna fit on 26 by 15, so that's okay. And you can see here, the laser shows as being ready. If you don't see ready there, if you see disconnected, go and talk to your teacher and they'll fix it for you. Now with that ready, and again, with your safety glasses on, you can simply hit start. Make sure you've watched my previous video so that you've adjusted all the settings for the different cuts uh, for each layer in your design. I'm not going to show you that again in this video though. So we're ready to go. So I'm going to press the start button. 
and you can see that the laser has started to do its job and the progress bar is counting along on the app it shows that the laser is busy when that progress bar is full the laser will return to the home position and it will stop engraving there we go it's returned to home and you can see that it's engraved uh, the different strengths using the settings that I um, set up for this project so now the app shows it's ready again to cut again if needed so let's say if it didn't look right or it didn't go through all the material you can hit the start button again uh, to change to, to start the engraving and cutting process again or you can move on to your next job that showed you how to use the atom stack laser cutter if you have any questions about how to use that if there was something you couldn't follow in this video remember speak to your teacher don't try and fix any problems yourself when you've finished with the laser cutter then simply go to the uh, control box again press the power button to turn it off and go to the air assist turn that off remove your material and you can see there we go my engraving is finished it's not great very simple design it went pretty much all the way through the material but not quite so I might need a few more passes to get that to fall out from the material it's still attached slightly so I needed more passes on that so that's how I use the atom stack laser cutter good luck creating your own designs